I think having a, a, a really good team that you can rely on allows uh, work life balance much more than uh, anything else mm -hmm. but it's also incumbent on me to uh, make sure that I'm not blurring the edges. I think as a business owner it's very hard to switch off from work so when I go away on holiday or I'm away out of the office I'm always thinking about work but I'm still out of the office and I know I've got good people working back in the office and that they can deliver but they'll, they'll call me if they need me. So for me it's to make sure I get a reasonable amount of holiday, I'm not working at weekends, I'm not working late at night uh, as a rule of thumb and I'm getting my regular holidays. It's interesting, isn't it? Because the, the word balance suggests that it moves. And I think when you talk about current balance, actually it was different last week to, to how it is this week. And I think staying on top of that is critical. Richard hit the nail on the head as a business owner. And actually, as a senior employed manager now, the world has changed. So we're always in touch. We're always available. We're always checking our phones. And you have to be consciously controlling that. So there's a couple of things that I've always done that, I, um, that help feed my work-life balance, which is that you know, I'm a dad, I have two young boys. Um, and I consciously don't stay in the office late, um, long after five o'clock I get home so I can put my kids to bed, I can feed them their dinner, give them a bath, put them to bed and see them and spend that time with them five days a week, unless I'm traveling or, or I'm away, which of course happens, but on the most part I'm here um, and, I'm, uh, and I'm doing that, that with them every day during the week. And then if I need to work, I'm working into the evening uh, from my laptop at home, but I'm at home and I've spent that time with them every day. And I think that's always been one of my commitments to to, to me and to my boys and to, to, to my wife and my family as a whole. Um, and that's really important and that allows me to make sure that I don't just get dragged into the staying into the office late, not seeing my children, because I, I certainly know plenty of people who've made that mistake. So that's my current um, sort of major commitment, I guess. Outside of that, yeah, I'm checking my phone all the time, I'm checking my emails all the time. And I think, if anything, I've tried to not do that and I struggle with the anxiety around not checking it. So. Being able to just quickly check and nothing's there makes me feel comfortable, and that's my way of handling it. Um, the, the phrase has changed now from balance to blend, doesn't it, as well? So people have acknowledged the fact that they do blend into each other, and that's okay, so long as you manage it, manage it well. Look, ideal, I think there's always a compromise. The ideal is not to work at all and to have a great life, isn't it? But that, that, that I think I would miss work, and I think that, um, that I'd miss having a purpose. So... Um, being able to choose what it looks like now is the ideal and sometimes that means I've got to work hard, we've got a really big goal we're trying to achieve, we're working on a big tender, whatever it might be. The ideal is working darn hard to achieve that and getting the result that we want and being really proud of it. At other times maybe we're, you know, we're ramping down for Christmas, it's quite a time, I can take a bit more time off with the family or I can take a bit more time for myself and that's ideal in that moment. So I'm not sure that you can say what ideal looks like um, and if you did I don't think it would last for long either.